Hey everybody, so this is Key with Messy Desk and I have finally finished my inventory binder here. Um, you'll see that I left the cover, mostly just the binder, and I just added a page in here. This page is from the Ancestry.com collection. And then I just used a stencil to write inventory and used some stickles to go over it. Um, so this, the, the idea behind this is so that when I go shopping for craft supplies, I can take this binder with me and check to see if I already have stuff on hand. Also, when I'm working through projects, I'm able to look through here and see what I have in the way of stamps and punches and things like that. Um, so let's, let's go through it here. In the front, I have this pocket here with a, um, a sketchbook, so to speak speak. Um, so I could use the sketchbook when I have ideas. Maybe I'm out and about and I have an idea for a craft project. I can quickly pull this out and sketch that project. Then I have some business cards for crafters, the other crafters that I frequently do some kind of business with. And then I have another sketching section here called My Bright Ideas where I can just come in here and I, this is this is more of I can sketch a project or I can list the supplies I need. Um, same thing here. Um, this is more of a free section where I just write whatever's in my brain. Some more card holders here. And then we come to the first section of inventory. This is my marker section. All of the dividers are made from Ancestry.com mat stack. And then I took a Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink pad and distress the edges here and then I have the different inventory sheets for the various marker sets and all I do is I go in and color in the boxes for the markers that I already have so most of these are stamping up and then there's some color charts here so I can practice with fading and, and blending and, and things like that when I'm coloring things in so just some faces and some eyes. The next section is my ink section. And it's the same concept. I printed off some inventory sheets from ranger.com for my distress inks. And I took a stamp and uh, stamped in each color that I have. For one, for colors that don't come on the inventory sheet, I just wrote those in at the bottom. And then over here, I just used the, um, I used a Q-tip and alcohol ink, and just scribbled in the color. And this is the smooch collection. Same concept here. I just took the smooch pen and scribbled in the color. And then we come to our paint section. And I printed off different inventory sheets here for Ranger acrylic paint dabbers, an iron dab paint dabbers, and then I made inventory sheets for my folk art acrylic paint and just took a paintbrush and, and colored in those boxes. And there's some for Viva metallic paint as well. And next I have my stamp section. And so we start with acrylic stamps. And so here I just print, printed off basically blank pages with the name of the um, manufacturer at the top and what it is. The acrylic stamp inventory sheet, the name of the sheet. This one is basic gray. And then I just took all the stamps from that collection or from that manufacturer and stamped them in on the pages. So this is Graphic 45. And here we have Recollections, Scrappy Cat, Stampin' Up, We Are Memory Keepers, Inka Dinka Do, more Stampin' Up. So I have quite a few stamps. And so when I'm working through a project, I can come through here and just go page by page to look at what I have on, on hand and what's available for me to use. Um, most of my stamps are out of sight, out of mind, so I often forget what I have. And so if I just 
page through here, then I can see what I have. So that's the stamp section. Next is the stickles section. I forgot the stamp section is separated by wood stamps and acrylic stamps. I have those dividers up here at the top. And then we come to the stickles. And so these I printed offline and just took the stickles and, and scribbled in the color. I made one for Studio G's glitter glue because I couldn't find one online and I just used the same concept as the stickles. Next we have ribbons. And so I used the same concept as the stamps here. I just printed off a blank inventory sheet with small, medium, or large ribbons and then I just glued a, a small sample of each ribbon down so that I can see what I have when I'm in the store. Next I have lace, and that's the same concept here. I guess this should be lace and trim. And again, it's small, medium, and large, so this is the medium. And then there's the large. Next I have my dies, and so I created these inventory sheets as well, and I, I put the manufacturer at the top. So this is Cherry Lynn dies. I have the dies back here, same thing here, these are larger. Okay, next we come to embossing folders, and here I just took a piece of cardstock and embossed it with the manufacturer on the top. I made these as well, so I just gave an example of, of what the embossing folder looks like on a piece of cardstock. Next I have my punches. And again, I made these sheets and I put the manufacturer on top as well as what type of punch it is. So this is a border punch. I don't have too many punches just yet. I don't use those often. And then next I have stencils, same concept. I printed off a blank, a blank inventory sheet, wrote in the name or ID of the stencil. Usually I find that on a barcode on the back. And then I just colored in the stencil. <coughs> Excuse me. there from Stencilmania. And then some trim designs. My bear tree. This is a... Then I have my bricks and my cattails. Next I have my alphabet stencils and I have several different um, alphabets for different projects. Okay, and then next I have my washi tape section, which I have not done yet, but I just made some washi tape inventory sheets with the uh, with Microsoft Word and printed those out. So when I'm ready, I'll sit down and, and go through my washi tapes and put little samples here, just like I did for the ribbons and, and lace. And then I have my paper section, which I also have not done yet. And I'll do something similar to this 
or the folk art acrylic sheets where I just type out a list of the manufacturers like the Ancestry.com collection by uh, K and Company. So I'll list out K and Company and then write in the mat stacks that I have. Um, so that those two sections aren't done yet. Then back in the back I have some extra dividers here, some little folders in case I need them. I have a Ziploc bag in here um, that I got from Staples which will hold receipts for um, different crafting supplies that I pick up. And then in the back I just have some extra inventory sheets for different things. Um, these are for things that I don't have yet but I plan to get, like Copic markers. I don't have any Copic markers yet, but I plan to get some. So I've got those sheets printed off for when I'm ready to use them. Distress markers, um, various different things back here that I'm not using yet because I don't have on hand. And then after that is just the pocket in the back, and these are the divider, the labels for the dividers. Um, so this is my inventory binder. And... Uh, I think this will come in handy when I'm out shopping and, and looking to stock up without buying duplicates. Um, so this is the final thing and this is how I keep track of what I have on hand. Um, I hope this was helpful to somebody and gives you some ideas. In the meantime, this is Keith. Thanks for watching and this is my messy desk.